The Fire and Ice Festival officially kicked off in Lidditz tonight and it's carrying a little more excitement in 2018. We now go to News 11's John Buffone who joins us in Lidditz. John. Sam, we're in downtown Lidditz, the site of the Fire and Ice Festival, an event some say have been more ice than fire in the last couple of years, but that's all about to change this weekend. Fire! There was certainly plenty of ice and an upgraded amount of fire at the 2018 Lidditz Fire and Ice Festival. After some generous donations from local businesses, there was a fire display that took Friday night's excitement to another level. We were really surprised uh, the uh, CEO of, from Canada of Pyrotech is down. Uh, they wanted to do this as uh, kind of a community involvement thing, so it was really kind of a surprise to us, and I think it just makes the event that much more special this year. Early rain showers looked as though they might put a damper on the festivities, but as it turns out, the nighttime weather could not have been better. It's exactly what you want. Uh, you don't want it too cold that people aren't going to come out, but you still want that chill in the air so that people are really enjoying everything that the ice sculptures bring. Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, it, it's great to see all these people out here and just, again, having a good time and relax for the night, you know, just enjoy the weather. With over 60 ice sculptures, food vendors, and countless displays lining the streets of Lidditz, there was something to entertain the entire family. Seeing the ice sculptures, I like the PMC throne, but it kind of gets your butt too, a little too wet. The fire um, show is awesome, just amazing. My favorite part is the ice carving. After a scare that the festival might become a thing of the past, the new management of Fire and Ice are hoping to bring a new energy to the much anticipated weekend. We're really trying to do a better job of lighting the event up. Stray lighting again is lighting all the sculptures. Uh, you know, we have a great sponsor in Blue Ridge, and uh, so hopefully we'll get to see you sitting in the throne later today. Now, Fire and Ice runs until Monday, but it's better to get here sooner rather than later before it all melts away. Reporting in Lidditz, John Buffone, News 11.